Greetings! It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, the Fiddlehead Risotto. Fiddlehead ferns are beautiful, but actually quite bland on their own. That's why you have to pay careful attention to the spices you add. I'll be honest, it's not very easy to make a good Fiddlehead Risotto. With my help, you'll have the best chance at achieving it. You learned how to cook it. Right. 5,500 money for me. The luck is eh. Oh, uh, raccoon hat? Put that away. And I'll uh, wear this outfit today. And then uh, perhaps I'll change tomorrow. Hey, babe. You, uh, you good? This place is my home now. I'm happy here. Good, she's forgotten all about last night. <laughs> here, Grimoth, here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. Truth. Truth. I, I have accumulated. 13 crows? All right. Nine crows. All right. This is getting removed as well. I actually got the tea sapling back out of that. Nifty. Huh. Oh. And the garden pot. Shall be a final accounting as I, uh. Begin to clean some stuff up here. 18 crows? Sixteen crows? We'll get the hat back there too. The crops, I'm not going to worry about until they they wither away tomorrow. But this stuff I can strip out. And against my better judgment, perhaps, I am going to remove the lightning rods as well. Release the animals from their partial pen as uh, a reckoning, a restructuring is truly in order. Order? Dinosaur already like freedom! It's time! You must go north and strike the earth! <laughs> I'm like, okay, very good. Any hay required? 48, by the looks of things. Okay. We might as well grab some moss, too, as uh, this shit will die off in the winter. A long time since I've been back here. So, I can thread my way back here slowly. And uh, see where the road, the, the road, the unbeaten path, the untrodden path takes me. Could grab uh, some more seeds if I so wished. Get out of my way. Actually, touch these silos for the first time in a while. Naturally, they are full. All right. Yeah, you grab a couple seeds. That reminds me. How did how did these plants turn out over here? Looks like uh, you misbehaved. Green Ring Type 1 wanted to be back on the menu here. Looks like, uh, pigs are truly having a great time. 
could not even begin to predict where truffles will end up today. It's all said and done. Let's put these away. Put this stuff away too. Y'all away as well. The top hat. Put that on you for now. I want to head to the island today. Maybe. Okay. We're not actually generating honey in here. Just because timers are printed out from the mods I have. No actual honey is being printed in here. Okay, cool. Everything is fine. All was right in the world. That mindfuck past Grimmeth had. It's all good. Phew. I'm in a, I'm in a safe place now. <laughs> it's all well. All is well in the world. So when I get back, I want to leave myself enough time to... Start re-kegging, notably this keg and those kegs in there have a nine hour gap between them. No, no, it's a much bigger gap than that. It's a 12 hour gap. I uh, don't really have the time to take care of that then today. Unless I went into a place where time moves slower, the Skull Caverns. Huh. Interesting thought. But I would still need to leave enough time for myself to re-keg everything, and that would take... Like, I'd want to get back at, like, ten at latest. I don't need to go to the island today. Hmm. Okay. Then we will... Go to the Skull Cavern to pursue this idea. A curious idea. An idea all the same. Perhaps I will go out of my way to pick up coconuts while I am there. And take the Omni Geodes to trade for anything. I'll leave the rubies behind. I got plenty of spicy eels right now, but I'm definitely taking my jade for staircases. No, this will do. Let's put away the skull mask, though. This is, you know, gonna be a late trip. Too little time is gonna not enough time is going to pass to to put the kegs in the uh the third shed to complete. H had I like gone there sooner, because you know time does move slower there, this idea would work. I do believe. Well, no matter. It's no big deal. Anything I want to commission? I definitely want to have Robin available so I can move structures around on my farm tomorrow. Yeah. What say you, Pam? Missed my old truck driving job. I used to go all around the valley meeting people, listen, listening to the radio. Times sure do change. Okay. This plan of mine won't work out because... Like, I'll go back home and I'll get the first two sheds kegged. But then I... I won't be able to keg the third shed until tomorrow, and then they'll be, like, you know, really separated on time. That will be heartbroken. Everyone will know. 
I also, like... I don't want to save my staircases, because I don't know where Mr. Key will send me. I don't have to make use of them in here today. Well, I brought some Monster Musk in here with me. I can just putter around and see, you know, where circumstances take me. The cloth sells for a little bit. One location is as good as any other. Why not? Maybe grab some more radioactive ore. That's definitely going to be useful for some crafting. Dreams. Should have let this thing fire all the shots while I was uh, guarded by the wall there. Get out of here. It's a strong crit. I like being able to, to crit kill those things in one hit. Yeah, I gotta say, this, this level 4 fairy is doing a pretty damn good job. Healing my boo-boos. My friend uh, really enjoyed uh, making a use out of the fairy, though uh, she ended up using a lower level fairy until real late into our game. Yeah, I said 10 was the latest I wanted to get back to the farm by. And as I've noted before, and as I believe has been demonstrated every time I come to the Skull Caverns, time moves slower in here. That's only a single-player quirk. Uh, multiplayer, time definitely is not slower. I am being assailed from multiple angles. I'm actually more concerned by the little slimes. Particularly now that I'm not immune to debuffs. With a crusader weapon, these uh these mummies are easy. So they deal a lot of damage, as has been demonstrated. Them and the ghosts both. Hey, what the fuck, man? some more fire quartz for more refined quartz. <laughs> I want to somehow build even more garden pots. I'm thinking about 13 level drop. Now that's, that's a big fucking drop. Shard, huzzah to that. Yep. Our ladder down. Grab some more iron ore for iron barring. Just a nice, simple adventure here. What? Get out of my face. Even without bringing uh, rubies, I'm getting some yummy, spicy eel. I'm not interested in that. You, you cannot interest me, but I'm also not interested in that. So. There's my 
ladder. Mm. Insect floor, I've shown how to kill these things. The bug killer weapon. It's not worth the time, though. <laughs> or the inventory slot. Compare that to a vampiric weapon. A crusader weapon. Not animation cancel that. There we go. You don't need to do this animation canceling stuff to be effective in combat situations. Do not, you do not. That's the case even if you use this weapon. I can get white algae anywhere. I don't think I need that for any more cooking things. Uh, big stretch slime. I forget how much of that I have and if, what all recipes that goes into. It'd be nifty if, uh, like, one of the interface things I had was like, hey, like, this is what this crafts into. So I could be reminded about that. The Lux Retaining Soil, I will actually make use out of it with the garden pot, so uh, every bit of that I find is pretty nice. Anyway, two diamonds. More valuable than two topazes. The jade. The alone. More miner's treats? I'm not interested. And that is an iridium crab. 30 points of damage. The hell, man. Radioactive ores over there? Hmm. Interested in that. To stand in this inferno, as one does. Aquamarine. That helped me uh, get some extra crit chance. Alright, those artifacts are worth like 300 each. Throw them in the trash for, what, 60-65%? Uh, the squid ink, I got a number of that at home. Just keep it moving. I want that radioactive ore. Goodbye, music. You'll be missed. No, you were not missed. Allow me to dissuade you of any concept that you might have been missed. Uh, I brought mega bombs, but let's plant a normal one now. Not the tear, Grimoth! No! You blew up the tear! I did. But think about Sebastian! I will not. Leave that iridium crab be, I guess. Achoo! Oh, good heavens, another tier. Well, I can't fit it in my inventory. Two more tiers. They'll have to remain here. Really, I need to go back sooner so I can clear out my inventory for the purposes of proceeding to keg things. So, I might as well do just that. Bring back many more bolts of cloth. There's 658 a pop. I can actually sell all my accumulated cloth for a decent amount of money. Ooh. Here I was about to go, and I'm like, but there's so many more mummies. Yeah, they'll have to. This will be quicker for me. It's the end of the season. So whoop de doo and dickery dock. Alright. That, that. 
Let us grab our tools of war. I don't even take those with me. Put the jade in. Like a stone. Oh, yeah, we're good on slime. Okay. Keep the food for later. Yum, 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 yum. All right. It's kegging time! <laughs> Always a great opportunity for me to look back at kegs miss. <laughs> slower now that uh, the triple shot espresso is wearing off. I'm telling you, Pam. Shame. One percent. Abigail, you want disposable income to buy, like, adventure gear? One percent. just pause to look at these things. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm glad my character doesn't uh, build up any meaningful sleep debt by going to bed so late. Obviously, like, you start with lower energy. I talked about this much earlier in the... in the playthrough. If you, uh, are leveling up a skill, you will be... You'll, you'll, you'll start with, like, totally full energy. But if you haven't leveled up a skill, uh, you're gonna start with lowered energy. Depending on how late it was you went to bed. You always wake up at six. But if you're just like eating something at the start of the day, that's gonna smooth over the energy situation. All right, those are all pulsating. That looks of things. And I will eat another spicy eel. And I will eat another, drink another triple shot espresso. So, how much time if I am I off, if any? Two hours and 30 minutes. Okay. Shucky darn. These things happen. Did not need to juice up so fer fervently, but I wanted to, like, handle that just in case. I needed to get there super fast. Yeah, had I gone straight to the desert? Instead of spending all this time, uh, here in the morning, like, doing some redesign? That would have gotten the, uh, the kegs back on sync. Resynced, I suppose I could have said instead. Hmm. I love how I thought those were going to stag. All right. Those food items there. Let's go to bed, fairy. Go to bed. Out of the journal. Space is empty. <laughs> Good work, Andy. The landscape has changed. And I might very well just be leaving this up to future Gurmuth. A short session. It's all we sold. 
<laughs> That's all we sold, yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice to actually see the starfruit wine there. <laughs> Fucking image for a change. <laughs> oh, shit.